the new Je m'appelle Ruby. Today we are staying in the cheapest room in Paris. So we have just booked their standard king. Let me show you around. So the standard rooms are called the burgundy rooms. We have a one king and I am really impressed actually. I love the art and the decorations that they have in here. The color palette's really beautiful. It does have a lot of big furniture, but I still think this is a really great size room. So we are on the 29th floor, which is actually a pretty high up floor in Paris. We have an okay view. We can see Hilton Grand Vacations and the mountains, but it's definitely not like a strip view. So you have a little desk area here. Instead of a closet, they have this pretty big armoire thing with the TV. Underneath it, the mini fridge, which was a nice surprise because a lot of Caesars properties don't have a mini fridge in their room. Overall, really happy with the main area of the room for this being the standard room, but we have to go check out this bathroom. For a standard bathroom, this is fantastic. A huge shower, it takes up almost this entire side of the bathroom. You have a full length mirror behind your door here. Beautiful vanity area. I love the red frame around the mirror. This is a fantastic bathroom for the standard room. So that was the tour of our beautiful room. As always, I will go over the prices and everything at the end of the video. It's been probably over a year since we've been to Paris and so much has changed. They've added so many new amenities and restaurants. We have a lot to do today. We're basically looking at this with fresh eyes. We wanna go to the pool, try two of the new restaurants, including Vanderpump, and overall just check out the vibes. So we better get going. De Paris n'importe Oh no. Decided to get some lunch quick. We're gonna try out Bobby's Burgers. It's brand new and I think everybody else had the same idea as us. I'm still excited to give it a try. Hopefully the line moves pretty quick. Okay guys, we got our food. We came at the worst time. Everybody came at once, but we waited maybe 30 minutes or so. All of this together with the soda was like $40. That's not cheap, per se. Now we have to see how this compares to In-N-Out Burger. Let's give it a shot. The meat is really good meat. Like, I'm mostly getting the burger patty, and it is, like, so delicious. All right, we finished Bobby's Burgers. I really liked it. I do think it's comparable to In-N-Out. Obviously, it's a little more expensive, but we did enjoy it a lot. If you're at Paris, I think it's worth a shot. I would eat it again. I think we are ready to go and lay out by the pool now. Okay, we made it to Paris pool. I do really like this pool. It's definitely more of a relaxation area. The water is always a really good temperature. You have some really gorgeous views of the strip. Unfortunately today, it seems like a lifeguard must have called in sick or something because only half the pool is open. Usually, because it's such a big round pool, you're kind of not on top of anyone. And you have a lot of space to swim, which is nice, but not today, I guess. That's okay, I can still lay out and get some amazing sun and relax. Okay, you guys, just got back from the pool and tried to take a shower, and there's like something wrong with it or something. The water pressure was like so weak, like you could barely rinse, and it was getting hot and cold. It's so pretty, but like you can't even use how big it is because the water pressure doesn't work. Mm -hmm. 
casino I like the theming it's really fun you're supposed to feel like you're outside in Paris they don't have the best variety of games in my opinion but it's always really lively and by that I mean really crowded so you're definitely gonna have like that hype atmosphere inside Paris so they have a really beautiful center bar here it's like chandeliers really pretty seating Fun place to grab a cocktail in the middle of the busy casino. So, the best selling point to Paris is the location. You are right across the street from the Bellagio Fountain. Some people say that the view of the fountain is actually better than those who are staying in Bellagio. You're right next to Planet Hollywood. You can go to the Miracle Mile and get some cheap eats. Honestly, it is such a draw and one of the reasons that I recommend Paris to people. If you are at Paris and you come outside, make sure you check out Beer Park. Fun beer list, good food, and you can sit right on this edge and check out the amazing view and watch the fountains go off. so many recent changes to Paris, particularly here in Le Boulevard. Right off the elevator doors is basically like a restaurant row. They've opened a Nobu here. This is where Bobby's Burgers was. They're gonna be opening a Martha Stewart restaurant here soon. So all these new things have been coming into Paris, which is kind of crazy because they already had a ton of great dining options like Beer Park and Mon Ami Gabby. And now they have opened Vanderpump à Paris and I'm very excited about it. Our reservation's coming up, we should head over. Got seated at Vanderpump à Paris and oh my gosh, it was insanely busy, but now I totally get why. The theme is a rainy night in Paris out on a patio. We are in the piano room, so there's a piano behind us. The detailing and everything in here is already like boggling my brain and the menu looks absolutely incredible. I know these cocktails are going to be Thank you. Okay, you guys. First of all, they pulled out all the stops for the cocktails. We got the Love Locked. This is a gin cocktail. It has fruit and it also has a key and a lock on it, which we will unlock, write our names on it, and we get to lock it onto a gate, kind of similar to the lock bridge in Paris. Time to put our lock onto the gate to join all the others. Are we ready? That's us, thank you. So we are trying Lisa Vanderpump's absolute favorite goat cheese cakes. They have endive and watermelon. They look, smell amazing. This is the mac and cheese. It's got Gruyere and it's French onion soup on the bottom. That sounds ridiculous, but we saw the star of the show, which is the beef bourguignon pot pie. It's in a vol crust with beef tip on the inside, and it looks insane. We're so, so excited to give this a try, you guys. Last but not least, I did order another cocktail, the La 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 Leaf Pop. It's a gin lychee cocktail with some champagne, really good. But the star of the show, the Grand Puff. This is a croquembouche. Croquembouche was a traditional wedding cake in France. It's little cream puffs stuck together with little caramel sauce. The presentation is stunning. Mm. Mm. All right, we finished up our meal at Vanderpump at Paris and it is probably gonna be my new top recommendation to you guys. Our meal all together was about $145 which I don't think is that bad. I did order really, really pricey cocktails. The service was excellent. The atmosphere is amazing and every dish we had was top notch. So highly recommend. Now it's getting a little bit later. I think we're gonna hang around Paris, maybe hit the strip and I'll see you guys in the morning.
you guys. It's actually really, really early and we have to catch our flight. So it's time for me to give you all my final thoughts on Paris. Let's start by talking about our room. We paid $177 originally and then $50 to check in early. I will say prices vary super wildly at Paris. Like three days in a row and they're all totally different price points. So sometimes this hotel can be reasonable, but other times it can be a little expensive. We really liked this room, it was really nice. My only gripe, the shower unfortunately, we did go down to the desk, but our option was either to like switch rooms or they were gonna send someone up, but no one ever came up, so. If I have one complaint about Paris, it's just that it's crowded and there's like a lot of bottlenecking of like hallways, so you're gonna bump people a lot. And I, I'm a claustrophobic person, so like when I'm getting bumped into all the time, it just kind of bothers me. That is my biggest issue with Paris. Otherwise, I think this is a really relaxing hotel. It's in a fantastic location and it has a ton to offer, so I do think a lot of people would really like it. And for the most part, I recommend it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you're subscribed so you can see all of my videos in the future. And uh, now I need to go get on a plane, so.